And what is going on? Okay, we got it. Okay. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. We are out here live. Not live, but like, you know, close enough. We're recording. We're having a good time. I am going to turn on my fandomundo because I'm hot as all hell, even though it's cold as all hell over here. But last time, we had to walk through a stupid cave. This time... We get to walk through a stupid cave. So, literally the same thing, but we just hopefully have a little bit more to explore. Because I don't think we actually do. Which is a little unfortunate, because I get bored of stupid caves like this. And that's kind of how I feel right now. I just feel like we're kind of in a cave. Like, pointlessly. And I don't know why. I just, I'm just waiting for the shiny troll to appear and be like, Oh my god, it's a troll! I forget, I forgot Bianca had a freaking Gyarados of all things. I was like, I was so excited to go to this episode. And then Bianca has my mascot, and I'm just like, oh, wish I could have my mascot. But nope, Bianca has to have it, naturally. Okay, well. Oh, do they actually not fight if Bianca's in the front? What? They literally don't fight. They don't. They don't care about Bianca. It doesn't matter what Bianca's doing. It just matters what you're doing. Just about right. Only they don't. They won't fight. They won't fight the females. Makes sense. Oh, it's a troll battle. Well, um, hi, uh, Magnazone, Butterfree, and uh, okay. This is actually not the greatest of scenario. I was hoping for something a lot. Oh, it's a rotation battle. Oh, no. My brain thought it was a triple battle. Oh, shoot. I mean, at least I can paralyze the electric type still. Uh-oh. Um. Okay, then we want to turn that way. And then searing shot. I didn't know it was rotations. Well, I mean, I guess that didn't matter, because I still blew back this thing. Uh, that's unfortunate. That is a little unfortunate, but we can handle it. We can deal with it. But, like I said, not necessarily the best case scenario, but let's see. Oh, you're just going to go? Okay. And even no matter what you do, I'm twice, lo I'm twice locked into Searing Shot, I believe. I believe. I didn't do a team recap. That's something I didn't do. Oops. That's okay. No need for a team recap, I guess. Because we can just one-shot literally everything with a Choice Specs chillin'. We gotta love our Choice Specs chillin'. Hopefully he stays alive the entire playthrough, because, you know, that'd be kinda nice. It would be kinda nice to have a Choice Specs chillin' just blow through everything for the rest of the game. I don't even think it's gonna... Oh, wow, that did nothing! You know, we were talking about having Choice Specs chillin', and that happened. Okay, yeah, we're twice locked. Okay. With that doing nothing, I'm going to go ahead and switch and Megahorn? I like switch. <laughs> That's a double battle move. It doesn't work for rotation battles, but okay then. As we kill it. Okay, burn kills it. Nice. Okay. Jonah is level 45. Let's go. Freaking Beagers level 46! Hype. Okay, we're getting levels. We're doing it. We're making it we're making our way through. It's just not necessarily the most intended way possible, but we live with that. I mean, it's not like we're always gonna do the best thing at the best time. Oh, that's right, she heals our team. <laughs> I forgot about that. I'm trying to hit the A button to see if there's any unknown items, and it just does not show me. It just does not show me at all if there's any unknowns. It's like, okay, cool, I guess. We might as well not have to worry about unknown items. Oh, yeah, see? There's nothing there, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, um... That's the... Doctor... Oh, that's right. We went that way to explore and see what was going around. Okay. I'm remembering now. 
I was like, I swear to God, we did we did something. We got off track somehow in that last night's episode, or uh, last week's episode, I should say, because I was like, I th I knew something was up. I'm glad. What is this place? It feels very strange. Could this be reversal where Reversal Mountain started from? The lair of Pokemon Heatran. Heatran is Pokemon with a magma like blood flowing through it. I don't care. Wait, what? So what you're telling me is that's literally nothing, and I had to do it anyway. Naturally, okay. I love those spring deerling when it's definitely autumn, but okay. I thought deerling was supposed to change based off of the... The, um, whatever, the... The season. But apparently, in encounters, it does not. Then again, it's also not supposed to spawn from a mountain. So, I guess we can give it the benefit of the doubt there. Um... I'm so lost in this mountain. It is not even... We're, we're going to spend four episodes in this mountain, guys. Four episodes are going to be spent in this freaking mountain. And it's going to be great. And we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. Because we have to literally... Have to wait for this intimate animation every time we get into a wild battle. And it's the best, guys. It's the best content anybody could ever make. Going through the intimate animation a hundred thousand times. That sounds like the content I would watch. You know... Some content is the best content. Oh! Wait, did I really? There's no way I sidetracked that hard. Oh, nope. I know what I did. I was like, there is no way your boy John sidetracked that far off and went up and around. No, I went around him like a good boy and then failed miserably the second time. Got it. Understandable. Honestly, like... Don't get me wrong. I know that's something I would do. Chillin', get out here. Figures really should not be the lead. I, honestly, I don't know why I have Beakers in the lead. Um, what are you using? Oh, Thief. Great, you just stole my choice specs. Does that get stolen forever? Bruh, if he steals my choice specs forever, I'm going to be so upset. I'm going to be real upset if he just took our choice specs forever. <laughs> Bruh, no, please, please tell me that you, you did not just steal my choice bags forever. Oh no, this could be bad. Togekiss. We don't really have anything for our Togekiss. Oh wait, no, 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 it's normal flying. So, if it's normal flying, Blue should be able to take care of him. Whoo, John actually thought on the fly. Uh, I mean, even if it actually, we would be able to handle it better if it was fairy flying, but... That's okay. We're going to go ahead and secret sword the thing, and hopefully that does a lot. It's neutral stab. Oh! <gasps> okay, buddy boo. Well, you did not have to do that. You did not have to scare the living daylights out of me like that. Really did not. I thought Blue was about to die. I was like, oh, well, magma swarming. Great. It's like, we had Blue for 2.5 seconds. Oh, a force double battle. Do -do 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 -do. I love force double battles, don't you? And they're like the best. Especially against two ace trainers that you know are going to have some power on their team for no apparent reason. Because we've reached the point where everybody's going to have power. Oh, great. They've got four mons a septile and a jump bluff. That's fine. We have Silverwind. Gyarados will be in a little bit of a world of hurt, but uh, we can Silver Wind and be totally fine. Oh, Jesus. Did you see that? Oh, Silver Wind only targets one. Oh, I thought Silver Wind targeted both. But that's okay. Oh, that was a crit. And Giga Draining is. Who's he? Did you Giga Drain me? Yeah, you Giga Drain me. That's fine. Silver Winding the Jump Bluff is fine. I just. Wish I would have paid attention a little bit more about to Silverwind. And Chatter is going to blow back one of the, these mons. Because that's Stab. Okay, we're going to kill the Sceptile. Oh, sh okay. Arrow Blasting. The don't get a crit. That's all I ask is don't get a crit. And we're fine. Good, no crit. 
And you can get drained me, so perfect. I don't think anybody's ever been like, hit me please, hit me please, because like nobody does that. Um, wow, that still did not do as much damage as I was kind of hoping it would. As Chatter is going to kill one of them. Which one, though? That's the real question. Sceptile? Nope, Jump Luff. Um, Jump Luff was a little less of a threat for me. If I'm being 100% honest. Okay, that's a Pidgeot. Um, let's go ahead and try and kill the Pidgeot. You get drained me now, because... Oh, shoot. Why? You weren't the fastest on the field before. Pidgeot doesn't... Oh, God. This is this is the moment where Beegers could die. This, right now, is the moment the Beegers could die. Oh, no. It lived on one. Don't be hitting me. Okay, good. Okay. Well, I can extra sensory the Pidgeot, and that'll die. Get us Aqua Jetted. Perfect! Gyarados makes a perfect play. And then I... Thank God. Sometimes the AI makes horrendous plays. For once, it made a good play. Now, there is one more Mon on the opponent's side of the field. Does so. Hopefully, it's not too bad. Oh, it's another Togekiss. Again, we've kind of proved already that we can handle that. As I'm just going to heal and go ahead and see what it's going to throw out at me. I feel like that's the best play in the world. That's going to heal us up, I think, actually, two full, exactly. Ha ha ha, it did. Okay, perfect. So you killed the Gyarados. Again, that's what happens when Smart AI is on. Kangaskhan. Oh, perfect. That's perfectly fine. We we live we live with that. As we're going to go ahead and work up the Toga or um extrasensory the Toga Kiss. Hopefully get a flinch, you know, because it's like a 10% chance of happening, 10-15% or something. Oh, geez, that did nothing. Entrainment. Are you kidding me? I mean, I guess, actually, Entrainment is not actually a bad play because Hurricane has a 60% chance to confuse. Holy crap, that did so much damage. So instead, it's got a 30% chance, which is actually, that's pretty, that was pretty good. <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> but now you're doing dumb AI things. You know, I give Bianca the slightest bit of credit, and then she throws it away like it's nothing. It's like, I'm like, oh, good job, you made a good play, Bianca. And now you're going to just throw out your grass-type mons against a flying-type. Like, it's nobody's business. I mean, it's good for me, because I mean, I don't get targeted at all, because Smart AI is going to target her. But still, it's like, oh my god, Bianca, I literally give you one boat of confidence, and you just throw that out the window like it means nothing. Ugh, gotta love Bianca, that's for sure. Um... We also got to love the fact that we're going to put Chillin in front because Chillin just gives me more hope than anything for any for anybody else on this team. Okay. Like I said, I'm really hoping that we can get out of this cave real quickly. I don't think we will, though. I think this will take another two episodes because of the encounters that are just bam, 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 every five seconds and now with multiple intimidated things because vigoroth apparently has intimidate too i'm gonna go this way i don't know what's the right oh shh oh oh oh, oh. a premiere ball we'll take that we'll take that we'll, we'll take anything we can get honestly that's literally all we can do is just take whatever the game gives us um and you know we might as well Might as well, you know, might as well do it. Is that our out? Is that our out? Nope, it's not our out. Am I not surprised? Oh, this is our out for sure. Oh, Adela Town is right here. Yay! Sh should we say bye for now? Yes, please. I thought this was going to take two episodes. It didn't. I'm happy. I am so happy it did not take as long as it... Dang it! I'm waiting for Chillin' to be able to evolve, and I just can't get the thing that allows Chillin' to evolve. It's so sad, because again, 
Chillin is a great mon, and we love our boy Chillin. But if we can't get the thing that evolves him, it's just like, we're gonna be stuck with a Magmar forever. And it's not even, it shouldn't even be that hard to get these items either. Because, like, it's just not. Oh my god, I remember this area. And I remember this area vividly because of my sleep lock. I had to train up my mons because that was a Thunderstone, of course. Of course, that's another evolutionary item. But I had to train up my mons here because I had things, like, things got wrecked in that cave. I remember now. Obviously, this sleep lock was, like, two years ago, so, like... But still, I just, I remember that vividly because we were out here and this is what, this was the sleep block that took me 27 hours and I still didn't get to complete it because a freaking Marowak decided it was going to destroy me. Also, I realized we get an encounter here. A wide lens, again, more items that don't actually matter. Is this going to change routes? I think it does. Because I remember... Dude, this is weird. I remember getting a Swana in here and naming it Cheyenne. Because there was some girl named Cheyenne that was in my chat. Like, literally 20 hours. So, out of the 27. Which is wild, see if you think about it. And <laughs> The random things that John remembers from two years ago. Because uh, I was at Patrick's house. So, it was my 250 subscriber sleep log. Bruh. Actually, that was that last year? That was last year. Uh, that literally was a year ago... Today, I think. Like, as of recording. So. Because this goes out. This will go out tomorrow. Um, so that's wild. That's real wild, though. But that was a oofy sleep block. Because, yeah, that was back when John was thinking about. What John was, like, thinking. Oh, you know, might as well figure out how to do things with art. But then, like, not actually figure out things with art. Yeah, that was not a good time for me at all. For creating content, let's just put it that way. Because, yeah, this was before the community came in and fixed that for me. They were like, no, don't do that. And I haven't done it ever since. So, let's just say... We learned from our mistakes. That's for sure. Um, as we kill this mask screen. But, yeah... Like, oh boy. Wait, did it change routes or did it stay in Delatown? It did, in fact, stay in Delatown. Okay. So, we are going to go ahead and get our encounter. On Delatown encounter, please be good. I didn't even know there was this entire back section. Swala. Ooh, we will take that, actually. We can add that to the team, too. That's actually an addable Pokemon that I would enjoy having on the team. Um, let's go ahead and series shot it. I know we're choice specs, so that was probably a terrible idea. Probably should have used Thunder instead, but... I figure Swallow's chunky. Yeah! we knew, I knew Swallow was chunky. That's why I love Swallow. Oh, shoot. We have a Master Ball, too. Can we get, like, a good, really good encounter, then? We got the Swallow. Let's go. And it's being added to the team as well. I don't know what we're going to name the Swallow, but we're going to figure that out here momentarily as Swallow. Welcome to the team, guys. This is a Gen 3 Mon. Right there. It's on the squad, guys. Who's ready? Who not definitely definitely me. I'm ready. We're gonna go ahead and name this Capson. Because Kepson has not been named after Amon, and sh they have been very amazing in the community so far. And helping us out and watching the series. Oh, well, I ran into that. But yeah, no, like, honestly, though, like, it's crazy to think of experiences that happened in your past. And that's one of those that's like, wow, I did that.
Oh shoot, a waste cache is not not necessarily a good thing. Dang it, we're on seven. Jeez, Louise. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and swap into Beegers because Beegers should be able to handle this effectively. Not well, but effectively. I don't know what I just tried to use, but I mean, it's okay. Don't we have a right about... Oh, Bone Club. Hashtag Bone Club Raid. Bone Club merch coming out on Aaron's channel. Probably. I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> don't quote me on that. I just made the joke. Um, but on, no, honestly, though, Aaron's got some pretty good merch coming out. Like, I don't know if you guys know, but if you can give me a link to his merch, I can put it in the description below. Maybe I can ask him for his merch link so that I can leave it there. Oh, God. That's a crit. Um... But yeah, he's got some Chromeo merch. He's got, it's like, it, it, he's got an Aaron t-shirt, like a t-shirt with his like channel banner on it. And the gray one, oh, so good. I don't even think he has a gray one. What am I talking about? The, he has a white one, but he should, bro, I need to tell him he needs to do a gray one because the gray one would be lit as all hell. I'm telling him right now. Actually, no, I am literally telling him in episode, he should make a gray one, a gray one. I literally, I don't care that it's an episode. Hey, Aaron, you should give people a gray option for the Aaron channel banner merch. I was talking in episode about the merch and that color seems like it would be fire. It has officially been texted. And now, if he wants to see where an episode, it's 21 minutes in. Um, anyway, that, that was a random, but it works. It, it kind of, oh boy. Why do I don't, why do I not already don't? I literally feel like I'm going, I know, okay. Here's the thing. I know I'm going the complete wrong way. I'm not stupid. Right, because you go up and you go around and blah, blah, blah. But I'm going backwards. I'm backtracking to try and find items. And another triple battle. Oh, God. That's a tough one. <gasps> okay. That's not good. Caracosta is going to have to calm down because a choice back thunder could kill it. That should be fine. Jonas... I'm actually going to fly towards the pincer so I can avoid anything, and then I'll heal up Beegers. That seems like the play. Okay, Hyper Potion up Beegers. Beegers might get hit with a Bug-type move. Oh, no. Chillin, why'd you miss? Psychic on Chillin is going to do how much? Not that much. Jonas avoids the horn attack. And Karakosta thrashed. Oh, no, 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 no. Why'd you double target Beakers? Oh, shh. Okay, that did nothing. This is actually not good. Okay, Karakosta. And let's go ahead and heal order on Beakers. This should kill Karakosta. It's a choice spec thunder. It has 30. Why didn't I know that already? Oh, no. I thought... I swore. I didn't... I swore it didn't have 30. What the heck? No, 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 no. Okay. Chillin' does not get crit, but his special defense goes down. Uh-oh. Horn attack. Uh-oh. Chillin', no. No! 
No! No! Literally had a 1 in 3 chance of hitting Chillin! And it had sturdy of its one of its abilities too. Like that literally was de that was destiny for chillin' to die. Oh no. Uh, that's mm, That's rough. Because that is Carrot Costa claiming his third kill of the series. Um, okay, I'm going to Aqua Tail the Cresselia. Where did I get the Cresselia out of the way? Partly because I know it can. Unless we miss. Thank you. Thank you for the 90% accurate miss. This is not good at all. We got the crate. We got the pincer out of the way. But this is Cresselia. Could actually throw out something. And we'll never know. Okay, we hit the Mega Horn. Dang, I know Cresselia is thick. Oh, shoot. So you're just targeting into the... Oh, jeez, that did not... <laughs> Kevin's like, um, you want to try and do that? Oh, yep. See, we're, we're choice banded. Literally, Beers can't do anything else in this fight. It's... Thank you. We hit the choice banded Aquatel on a Milotic because that's literally all we can do. But oh no. Uh, Chillin's dead, y'all. I literally just added a mon to the squad. We had a full team of six, and in two, not even two seconds, dead. It's like, that's so. Watch. This game is going to be so mean to me. It's going to give me the Magmarizer next episode. I mean, like, are you kidding me? We literally waited an entire episode. Luck incense, okay. But, oh my gosh, like, oh, I thought that was shiny, but I realized that it's pink. It just looks like a completely different color. In this game. I was just saying, like, oh my god. We did not find a shiny. There's no way. Oh, dang it. We need the... We need the, um... Surfing. Yeah, we're still not... Well... All these ace trainers are scaring me. Also, we got a level 35 Swallow, and there's, like, level 38s and all that around here. That's the th that's kind of funny, but we're okay with that. We live. Oh my god, yawning now. We're in the yawning stage, guys. It didn't take us at long at all to get to the yawning stage. Okay, where is this taking me? I've never been down. Oh, today we're dancing for no reason. Then can you just dance somewhere else to get out of my way? Like, honestly, it's like, we're going to dance for no reason. It's like, okay, that literally does nothing for me at all. But, I guess you can dance for no reason, and we can go along with it. Okay, now we go down here, because we need Waterfall to access that item. We need Waterfall to access the item up there, which we don't have that yet. So, being in Undell Town, though. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. It didn't change because it changed right here. That was round 14. Guys, we can get an encounter before we end the episode. I don't think we have a Surf Mon, though. I don't think we have Surf yet. I swear we have access to Surf. No, we do not. Okay, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
We still might. Okay, we do have access. I'm like, I'm like, I swear we have access to that. Um, and the only one able to learn it is Kevin. So, Kevin, I'm so sorry. But you ain't learning it. I don't want, I don't want Kevin to learn it. Actually, I feel like it actually still benefits Kevin. Oh my god, it literally still benefits Kevin to learn surf. Oh my god. Never mind, Kevin, you're learning surf. Because it literally still benefits you over Aqua Tail. <laughs> That's sad. That even with the choice ban, because he had all physical moves... That to Agua Tail is still a five more power with a whole bunch more stat on top of the fact. <gasps> That's hilarious. I would have never thought that. But apparently, that is the case. So, we get an Andela Town encounter before we end the episode. And hopefully it's a legendary so that I can be like, so that would be a way to end the episode. Honestly, that would be amazing. Like, legendary would be freaking... Ah, uh, it's not a legendary. That's a do duo, but you know, mm, cool. Do duo. That sounds great. I actually doesn't sound too terrible. The thing is, is I know that do duo will literally evolve. Oh, oh, oh! Never mind. Never mind. We should have just used Megahorn, but we didn't. I guess so. Okay, so I knew Aaron fought us. I remembered Aaron fighting us. Yes! We're out here. We're going to end the episode off with the rival battle. I should have just started the episode with the, off with the rival battle now that I think about it. But literally, Aaron has three Pokemon. And his first one's an Alakazam. So literally, got it covered. So, that's hilarious. I'm like, Jonas, if Jonas could like handle this entire fight, I would be so happy. Wait, 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 wait. It switches attack and defense, so it doesn't actually matter at all. Because its attack is, I think, lower than its defense anyway. Um, it's a frail boy, and that was a crit, so even more of it, it doesn't matter. Um, wow, Jonah's got 4,000 experience. We take that. No, we ain't learning pin missile. Oh, we got that covered too. Wiggly Tough is gonna get destructed the Mundo by Blue, because Blue has some physical fighting moves for you. Ooh, look at that rhyme. Okay. This is literally the exact... This would. This was literally the perfect time to talk about Aaron's merch when we're fighting Aaron. I should have waited like a little longer to talk about it, but honestly, I really shouldn't have because not very many people, people are going to see the beginning. Not very many people are going to see the end either. Oh, Samurott. Frick, the literal one problem on the team that we can't handle... Okay, so Samurott. I'm going to stay with Blue. Samurott is the one issue on his team that we've just never been able to handle at all, very effectively. Except for when we had the Energy Ball Celebi. So hopefully we can handle it. But we have that's why if we wanted a Grass... Oh, God. Oh, my God. I am so glad Blue is faster. If you have Aqua Jet... Wait. You had Aqua Jet before. If you have Aqua Jet right now, I'm going to be so mad. But you might actually have Aqua Jet and sweep my entire team right now. The strats, bro. No. Oh, shit. No. A belly drummed Samurott. This is not how this is not how this was supposed to go at all. This is not how it's supposed to go at all, but this is how it's going, and I don't want to lose blue. Oh god, this is so bad. Okay, I'm gonna secret sword again and hope I crit. Oh god, I really hope I crit right now, because if I don't, then uh blue is about to die. Oh my you use brine. Oh thank god. That could have been That was a non-crit dude! Aaron already, oh my god, so freaking glad 
that we <laughs> oh, 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 I'm so glad I didn't use a physical move because that or aqua jet or anything like that because we would have been just destroyed holy crap that was actually one of the scariest battles I have had in a long while Okay, so we beat Aaron. Aaron is out. Oh my god. Dude, this is literally the most Aaron filled episode of my life. Anyway, okay. And I don't mind that actually. It's fun. It's fun when you have episodes that you talk, you talk about your friends and how amazing they are. Um, so, first off, we're going to deposit our boy ch dead Chillin. I'm so mad Chillin's dead. Like,. Like, literally, worst way to die. Freaking thrash, of all things. On top of the fact that it had sturdy, one of three abilities it gets. So, literally, that was a one in nine. That was a one in nine chance. Which, I mean, I guess that's actually not a lot. I'm complaining over a 1 and 9. I mean, that's still under... That's still under 12%. But it's not actually that much. I'm, like, out here talking it, talking it up like it's literally, like, such a big chance that that should have not happened. But, I mean, like, 89%, eh, that's kind of a lot. Also, the other dude hit me, too, so I guess that was a 1 and 2, so that's 1 and 18. Okay, anyway, deposit chillin'. We don't have to rationalize his death any longer. That is death number 6, and more, and half of them have been to Caracosta. That's how this, that's how this works. Um, okay, with the drawing of Pokemon, though, what do we got? Oh, well... It's Embor time because, well, um, yeah, the only reason Embor wasn't on the team is because we had a fire type. Now we do. That gives us a second fighting type, though. But honestly, we need a fire type. A fire, a fire type is gonna be, gonna be nice. We still don't have a sunstone, so, yeah. I just love how Joy has literally been the first thing in the box and will probably never be pulled out this entire series because literally it's a wall rain <laughs> um anyway we're gonna go ahead and set the game thank you guys so much for watching like comment subscribe and we'll see you next time peace